Hey y'all, welcome back. It's that moment. Did I keep the Harley Davidson or did I get rid of it for a digital Leica camera? If you missed the start of this journey, I'll link the video up above. Take a look at that and then come back to this final installment. Uh, but without further ado, let's jump right into it. It was a normal weekend and I had a few things to prepare this morning. I used ChatGPT to draft up the bill of sale for the motorcycle and it did a phenomenal job at that. I also thought of going to Staples to print two copies of the bill of sale, but I decided to simply keep it digital on my iPad because printing is a scam and that's a whole subject for another day. Honestly, I was on autopilot. I had made the decision to sell the motorcycle in the middle of my ride the day before. So today was the day I would hand off my motorcycle. I planned to meet at the PNC bank to make the transaction as frictionless as possible. I could not have asked for a more smoother transition. Chris was a man of his word and we handled the sale as such. Before I knew it, my motorcycle was on his trailer and my garage all of a sudden felt much bigger. It was odd to go back to that space and not see the motorcycle sitting there. Do I have seller's remorse? No. Will I miss the bike? Yes. But the choice was not only for me. It was for my children. I would not forgive myself if something had happened to me while on that motorcycle. Okay. One of the pillars of my life is to provide for my family. And if I'm honest, the motorcycle just did not fit into those core values. It had to eventually go. Some might wonder why I bought the motorcycle in the first place. Well, because it was a goal of mine, I completed it, enjoyed it, and now it was time to move on. I simply had switched one toy for another, a safer one, the digital Leica M. Now, hear me out. We're all in different places in our lives, but there's one constant. It's a short life. And in that time, we have the chance to explore and experience things. Someone watching this may think that my switch was preposterous, but that's because that's where I am in my life. This video documents this particular place in my life. At this time, I'm willing to sell my Harley for a legendary camera that I've always wanted. Shortly after saying goodbye to my Harley Davidson, I went on to B&H's website, ordered the camera and a few other must-haves that I mentioned in my like a uh, photo walk video. At this time, the camera is back ordered, but they promised me a May 1st shipment. Well, May 1st has come and gone. At the time of this recording, they've updated the timeline and I won't get the camera until the middle of May. I'm eagerly waiting its arrival like a kid on Christmas. Okay, so I did what some called stupid, silly, crazy. I sold my Harley Davidson for a digital Leica camera. I'll be doing more videos on the camera and my adventures with it. I'm looking to pair it with a 50. As a matter of fact, it came in today uh, from Japan. So there it is, my 50 millimeter. And as always, guys, if you have any questions, comments, leave them down below. I enjoy interacting with you all. If you like the content, give it a thumbs up. I appreciate it and consider subscribing. Um, until next time, stay creative.